capture those Mattel all day long and so neither one of them are, are going to be extremely sharp to start with and it's crucial not to go down a break early well that's not a bad way to start 130 19 short of his fastest ever Sampras really doing nothing with that return, allowing Ruzedski to hit quite a safe volley in, in that first pass, grossly mistimed by Sampras. That's an excellent serve wide. I think the other factor, Peter, might be the, uh, will be the Sampras's backhand. How well that shapes up to this uh, pummeling it's going to get. Well, I'd say both backhands really face a severe test today. Because both these players, experts at the art of this swinging slice serve. Thank you. Six quickly, please. Anything Pete Sampras Sampras at love one. And it's interesting to look out at the court. You see blotchy patches here, and I'm wondering if some spots are slightly more damp than others, just haven't fully dried out. We'll have to wait and see if that plays a, a part. 15 all. And each player has laid down his marker in the first service game. They've both served now at 130 MPH. Sapper seemed to hesitate on that first volley. So good at finding the right racket head angle. Full stretch. You have to say that Pete Sampras is not the most natural serve and volleyer in that he's a great server, but he doesn't get into net very quickly behind his serve. Not uh, the way Pat Rafter or even Tim Henman would. But he gets away with it simply because A, his serve is so great. But secondly, he's got wonderful hands and can come up with miraculous shots, seemingly, but from bad positions. Got pretty wonderful feet as well. His footwork's usually excellent. Game <laughs> One oil. Well, pretty fierce encounter already. Three minutes gone, two games played. Paul Anacone there. Third from fourth. Somebody else hiding. Block 15. That was a clever serve, totally different to all his others. Well, the backhand return of serve is, has just got to improve. Yeah, well, Sampras 
appearing a bit anxious early on. Regis missed two easy volleys, one forehand then, a backhand in the other service game. Game sets the he leads to one. And Greg Rosensky two one up, no breaks at all so far. These aircraft are not supposed to fly straight over this stadium. What's happening? Well, in fact, Bill, yeah, this is the first time this week that the aircraft have started to fly over this way. So obviously the wind has changed and the air traffic controllers have had to send them this way. There's a deal that they brokered with the city. Oh, I don't know what five or five or ten years ago somewhere. And uh, they managed to redirect the planes and what a difference it has made because this Arthur Ashe Stadium is right under the flight plan normally and they come booming through here and it, it's really distracting for the players because you cannot hear the ball off the opponent's strings which is you know hearing is such an important part of, of judging where the ball is going to be. Absolutely right. So no breaks. 2-1 Rosetsky. We just had a very and noisy aircraft fly straight over the stadium. Course. And Mayor Dinkins many years ago stopped that. Now we Thank seem to have changed. The airport LaGuardia seems to have uh, got wind of uh, tennis going on. So there's an aircraft taking off in a different direction. Let's hope it stays that way. Well, yes, the aircraft are coming here for the first time this week. Of course, safety dictates when the wind changes in a certain direction. They just have to come this way. It's a magnificent serve, that was. Very fast and moving a lot in the air. Serving at the moment, I know he hadn't served much, Sampras, at 86% first serves. Well, here are a couple of ominous stats for you, Bill. Pete Sampras, in his last 21 matches against left-handers, has won 20 of them. I know, that's horrifying. The good news is, I suppose, that the one he lost was the very last one he played. He lost to Wayne Arthurs in Toronto. And that's where the streak started as well at Queen's, against the same guy, Wayne Arthurs. <laughs> Terrific game by Sampras. I beg your pardon, Wayne Arthurs beat Sampras in Cincinnati. Another grim statistic is that Pete Sampras is 18-0 here at Flushing Meadows under the lights. Hope Greg doesn't know about these stats. He likes doing that. Well, and why not if you can do it like that? It's an exquisite shot. It's one of his best. It's a bit like Goran Ivanisvich. He likes that shot too. Oh. 
Kaufland. No breaks, two, three. Oh, yes. Coming over the ball, a sign of confidence. Oh, yes, that's the shot that completely breaks Sampras' back. And Rzeski starts making that topspin backhand pass. It really can be demoralizing. Because that's the one shot in his arsenal that you expect to be able to attack. Now, here's a bit of danger looming for Pete Sampras. Times like this, in the past, he's always served his best. Very clever return, and it's brought up three break points. Yes, and it's quite a danger for Sampras if he's going to try to serve solely to Rosetsky's backhand because once the Brit gets into a rhythm of chipping that backhand down low, he can get, be very consistent. Yep, that was good. Yes, just a little tight on that return, perhaps. Where's the first serve in this game? A very tentative attempt at the lob. Zeski would like to have that one back, no question. So one break point left. Well, that was a good serve, wide to the Rosetsky strength. Advantage. That's good. Pretty tentative volley. Fourth break point. I'm not certain what Sampras was questioning there because the, the volley was clearly long. Yeah, well played. He has broken. Well, first blood to the British player. Yes, and Sampras must be jittery or, or impatient or just unsettled, I guess is the right word, because he served a, a horrendous game there. And in fact, when he got back to Deuce, Rzezki, having given him a couple of e easy points, he gave it right back. It was that glaring lack of first serves in. 
and they just vanished in that game for sanford's